Concepción Cabrera de Armida, also known as Conchita, was born into a wealthy and very large family on December 8, 1861, in San Luis Potosí, Mexico. She was the seventh of twelve children. Her parents, Octaviano Cabrera and Clara Arias Rivera, had also been born in San Luis Potosí. Conchita's education was rudimentary, since she spent most of her teenage years on horseback, visiting the ranches with her father. She met her future husband, Francisco Armida, at one of the numerous balls organized by the highest society of the city. She was engaged at 13 years of age and married him nine years later when she was 22. Conchita taught Francisco to receive Holy Communion as many times as possible, and on her wedding day she asked him to promise her two great favors. She tells, I remember at lunchtime when everybody was congratulating us that I had decided to ask my husband for two things and he agreed to them. The first was to let me have communion every day, and the second was not to be jealous. Poor thing, he was so good, so much so that many years later he would stay with the children while I went to church. And even in his last illness, before he lost consciousness, he would ask me if I had been to Mass to receive our Lord. God will surely have rewarded him for this favor, which meant my life to me. Conchita became a mother of nine children, and she became widow at the age of 39. When she was 32, she received the grace of the mystical betrothal to Christ, and then at 45 she received the grace of the mystical incarnation. However, she never neglected her marital, family, and social duties. She carried out her housework and also was able, under God's inspiration, through her spiritual advisor, to write down the teachings that she had received daily in prayer. Conchita thus wrote almost every day of her life from when she was 31. Between 1893 and 1936, two months before her death, she wrote a diary consisting of 66 large notebooks, or 22,500 pages of spiritual writings, in which she tells freely and openly what she had lived. During her life, her writings were examined by the Catholic Church in Mexico, and even during her pilgrimage to Rome in 1913, where she had an audience with Pope Pius X. In all cases, church authorities looked favorably on her writings. As a laywoman, she often aimed to show her readers how to love the church. She once wrote, To love the church is not to criticize her, not to destroy her, not to try to change her essential structures, not to reduce her to humanism or to the simple service of human liberation. To love the church is to cooperate with the work of redemption by the cross and in this way obtain the grace of the Holy Spirit to come down and renew the face of the earth, conducting it to its consummation in the design of the Father's immense love. Conchita died on March 3, 1937, at the age of 75, and she is buried at the church of San José del Altillo in Mexico City. She had lived a multifaceted life, being a mother, a widow, a mystic, and a writer. Of herself, she wrote, I carry within me three lives, all very strong. Family life with its multiple sorrows of a thousand kinds, that is, the life of a mother and of its many joys. The life of the works of the cross, with all its sorrows and weight, which at times crushes me, until I have no strength left, and the life of the spirit or interior life, which is the heaviest of all, with its highs and its lows, its tempests and its struggles, its light and darkness, blessed be God for everything. 
Her children report that they had hardly ever seen her writing, but her religious writings and meditations total over 60,000 handwritten pages. Her canonization process was started in 1959 by the Archbishop of Mexico, at which time about 200 volumes of her writings were submitted to the Congregation for the Causes of Saints. Pope John Paul II declared her venerable on December 20, 1999, and she is currently in the process of beatification. <laughs>